Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos, I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through how to implement the new FIR system which is Nigerian Government Fiscal System. First thing we need to do is to go to the ATRS website here and go through and read this page. Then you'll need to go to the FIRS page to register your business. Once you do that, a few hours after registration, the Nigerian government will send you the information you need to use inside Retail Man. Once that is done, we can start doing the setup. The first thing we need to do is go to Maintenance, System Setup. Under the company details, we need to enter the tax file number that the government has sent to us. Once that has been done, We'll go to the Hardware Setup under Maintenance, then choose Fiscal Setup tab. Here in the fields are URL links that we need to send our information to. There are two options here. The first is Development Environment, which means you can send information to the government website and it's only done for testing. So what we currently have is the testing environment. These four fields are for the development environment. Once these fields have been changed to IP addresses instead, the transactions will officially be logged in the government website. The next six fields are information that the government will send you. The secret code is a unique code for each company. Business place is where you carry your business. Each point of sale will have a device number that they will tell you what to use. Client ID, which is supplied by them and of course the username and password that you can choose to use. Once we've done that, we then need to go to System Setup again, Payments tab. Here the payments start with a certain letter, so for cash it has to start with C, for bank transfer it has to start with T, credit cards start with K, debit cards start with D, and all other payments start with O. So now you need to arrange these letters for the system to work. The next and final setup step is to go to the POS tab and choose the file that you want to print that is compatible with the FIR system. This is the posq.frx. This has to be selected in the cash sale and the credit sale. You can also use the POSQ which is in the invoices section under the sales tab or if you wanted to use the standard format like A4 or letter, you can use the invoice.frx. Once we've done that, we go to save. From here, we can process the sales from the POS screen or invoices. Let's say we do a sale and we go to pay and we pay by cash. We then print or save. The system will then go out and contact the government sellers, send the information you've just entered and it will expect a return answer. If the sale has been approved, it will send back a unique identifier which is called UID. Retail Man creates something called SID, which is a security identifier. The government servers will send back a UID. With these two IDs, you can continue to print a receipt. If your internet is down or you have an error inside your sale, the system will still generate an SID that you can use to print the QR code but the government will require you to verify that sale within 48 hours from issuing it. So let's do a sale. As you can see, the box appeared showing the information was sent out and has now brought it back and the receipt should look like this. As you can see here at the bottom of the receipt, the number here is generated by Retail Man. The UID is what the government has sent back to say that this receipt has been verified. Anyone can use their mobile to scan the code if the receipt is verified, the scan will tell them it has been verified. If there was an error with processing resulting in no validation for the receipt, we'll show the quick solution. So we'll put more items in and pay by bank transfer and save. This is then processed. To check if there has been a validation, we go to invoicing, we press F7. Notice that there are two sales that have been flagged in red. To fix these, we need to be connected to the internet to begin with. Double click on them to process the sales. The red field should change to white. 
To make sure you have the UID, you can click on one of them and then press the screen button. As you can see here, the UID has been brought back from the government server and the invoice has been validated. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.